everybody, I am PT. And if you've never seen the show before, I go from five and I go all the way down to number one. Number one. <laughs> Just like some other people do too, uh, apparently. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just joking. Hey, listen, today is called Terrible Tuesday, TMZ Tuesday. You get a bonus today, remember? Welcome to the show, everybody. Mm. And this Beatsy's Punch is good. Welcome to the show. Hope you guys enjoyed my show yesterday. I was not feeling my best yesterday, but today I feel awesome. Uh -huh. I feel like dancing, Miss Seely. <laughs> Welcome to the show. And listen, I, I just want to tell everybody real quickly before I go any further, my girl Lou Nell, she's going to be at the Jacksonville Comedy Club starting on the, fifth, uh, the 3rd of May. All the way up into the fifth, okay? So here's the picture and everything. So go check her out if you happen to be in the Jacksonville. Oh, you know what? I I, I think I I think I caught a I think I caught a ship out of Jacksonville one time. I think I did. Yeah. So anyway, Jacksonville, Jacksonville, stand up, stand up, and go see Lou Nell. So you can get you one of these these shirts right here. See. One of these little crystal shirts. All right. All right. Here we go. Showbiz top five, number five. Uh, Tina Lawson says she had something to say to Beyonce. And she felt some kind of way when Beyonce responded. I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> Showbiz top five, number four. Congratulations to Kendrick Lamar. And, of course, Showbiz top five, number three. LeBron James, has he been sued? Hmm. I'm going to tell you about that. And, of course, Showbiz Top 5, number 2, Amber Rose and Wiz Khalifa. They kind of got into it on Instagram, but it was just a joke, and I'll tell you about it. And, of course, Showbiz Top 5, number 1, Trashy Tristan's daddy said he's the blame for all of this. Ah, I can't believe he said that. Okay, and the bonus today will be about Mr. Chris Brown and the Kurecha Tran mess. All right, y'all, let's get right to it, man. We, we, you know, this is this is it. This is the countdown to 10,000 subscribers. I'm very excited. I hope you guys are excited. And welcome all my new subscribers. I think I got, what, 30 new new subscribers already or maybe more. Hey, if you if you like my show and you like to see me act a fool and talk to my celebrities over there in the other room, make sure you please tell everybody about PT Showbiz Top I'm sorry. PT Showbiz Top 5. And I know some of you guys noticed my little background sounds, my little friend in the background that be saying stuff. I hope you like that, okay? Just want to add a little something different to the show. Let's get right to it. Show this top five number five. I want to talk about Tina Lawson now. I talked about this yesterday. I talked about Beyonce at Coachella. She turned it out and uh, just wreck havoc. She did her thing. Well, you know, her mom was, wasn't too fond of her performing at Coachella. She didn't think that it would go over because, you know, Coachella is 99% white. And she didn't think that they would get it, you know, with the black culture, you know, the band and the all this and all that. And they got it. And Beyonce said, well, look, look, mama, hey, I've worked too hard to get to where I am now. And I have to do what I have to do to change the world. You know, she said, I have to perhaps to try to at least try to, to, to you know, What's the word I'm trying to say? You know, uh, uh, bring the bring the people together. Basis what I'm trying to say. You know, um, sort of like what Michael. That reminds, my, my, reminds me of Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson tried. He you know, <laughs> heal the world. This and that. And of course, we have we always know. As long as you got somebody like you know who in the White House, it's gonna be a little difficult. But you got you have to start with the man in the mirror, like Michael Jackson say. So I give it up to Beyonce. Yeah, girl, you always step out there and you always do what you think is best, regardless of what anybody thinks you have to do it anyway. You don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. That's an old Melba Moore, Melba Moore song. Don't let nobody tell you what you cannot do. If you don't follow the dream, you'll never, never know what's on the other side of the rainbow. Yes, so shout out to Beyonce. Shout out to Tina Lawson. And uh, I'm glad she did what she did. And what What's next for Beyonce? Did y'all catch Wendy saying, Mm hmm She is the greatest entertainer in the world. Shay. Shay, 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 Shay. How you doing? How you doing? She didn't say greatest singer. <laughs> she said greatest singer. Just like Michael Jackson wasn't the greatest singer. He was the greatest singer when he was younger, but he was a better entertainer when he got older. Anyway, so I'm going to move on before I start the mess. Let's move on. All right, we're going to move on to number 
for. Congratulations to Kendrick Lamar. Here's his picture right here. For those who do not know who Kendrick Lamar is, I know y'all know he's a rapper. Uh, rappers don't sit around and smoke weed all day. But this is what happened to him. Congratulations to him. He is the first person ever, ever to win the uh, Pulitzer Prize. Pulitzer, Pulitzer Prize. <laughs> Uh, the Pulitzer Prize, and uh, thank you for the bell. And uh, he was the first to win a non-classical or jazz to ever win the album. And the album is called Damn, D-A-M. Here's the album here. Um, and the album is, is basically captured the complexity of the African-American life. So congratulations to him. Yeah, all rappers ain't running around uh, trying to uh, jump on girls and smoke weed all day and do stuff that ain't supposed to be, And having babies and... Do, Anyway, congratulations to Kendrick Lamar. Let's move on. So this top five is going to be number three. Oh, LeBron James is in trouble. What do you do, girl? I'm going to tell you what he did, girl. Hold on. <laughs> girl. Here's the latest with LeBron James. Well, according to Idea Adventures, according to Adventure Enterprises, the TV show Idea Adventure said that they pitched this show to him called Shop Talk. Okay. And the scene was supposed to have been where they were, were uh, celebrities celebrities get together in, in a business and they discuss their business success and why they're getting their hair cut. Two years into the making of uh, trying to get to different networks, everything else changes. And next thing you know, there's a show called The Shop, <laughs> but it's not on TV. It's actually on, it's on the internet. So they're trying to sue him because they said that he stole their idea. We know about people's ideas getting stolen, don't we? Mm hmm Huh? Who was that? You get a program director from what station? 91.2? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll talk to you in just a second. <laughs> but anyway... So, uh, <laughs> y'all so messy. So, so uh, it was showed on, and he said, oh, he apologized, and he'll never do it again. Lied, the lies and deceit, child, they showed it again on ESPN. So now they say they're suing, they're suing him uh, and his uh, partner, Maverick Carter. Mm-hmm. And then they contacted, uh, according, to, to, according to TMZ, TMZ reported this. Shout out to TMZ. They reported the story, and they're saying they told TMZ that they just the people just want some attention. I don't know, I don't know. Why would you apologize for something that you didn't do, LeBron? You know what I'm saying? Why would you apologize? I don't know. Yeah. So anyway, I'll keep you guys. I'll keep you guys posted up on this, man. That's why you gotta have your stuff in stone, baby, because the girls will come behind you and get your stuff. So messy, oh messy boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all so messy. <laughs> okay, moving on. This is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be number two. Let's talk about Amber Rose and Wiz Khalifa. Now, these two, you know, they have a baby together, and they're not together anymore. But let me tell you what happened. Well, of course, you know Amber. She was at Coachella. Everybody's at Coachella, but me. And she was there with some orange pants on. You know, her regular sporting her blonde hair, whatever the case may be. And somehow, the picture that she took with these people, it, here's the picture here. Uh, the picture, it actually uh, posted up, it went into Wiz Khalifa's feed. And he, you know, he started saying a little some more stuff like, who is this big-headed woman, with them ugly orange pants on, whoop de whoop de whoop de whoop But it was all in, as a joke and all in fun. So, you know, my head's off to Amber, my head's off to uh, Wiz Khalifa. You know, I, I understand you don't always get along with the baby daddy or the baby's mama, 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 baby's mama. Because sometimes you just don't. You know, but it's a good thing that they're co-parenting together and trying to make things work. Because at the end of the day, I always tell y'all, I've been telling y'all this for the last two years. If you have a child, if you have a child, now you don't have to always get along with the baby mama or the daddy. But if you can, at the end of the day, it's all about the child. That's what it's all about. And two day ass turn 18, and then I don't know, it's still your child. You still want the best for your child. All right, so congratulations to Wiz Khalifa. Here's the picture. I, I showed y'all the picture, right? Yeah. 
So that's what's going to do. So anyway, I, I'm I'm just glad they have great co-parenting skills and that, that they work it together, trying to make things work for the baby. Because the baby go listen. These kids they grow up fast. They smell it. They see it. They know it. They not stupid. They not dumb. They know everything. Okay. Congratulations to them. All right, we're going to move on. This I'm going to give you guys a bonus. This is going to be about Chris Brown and Karucha Tran. I'm so sick of him. Then you know he's supposed to have no dealings with no damn Karucha Tran. I said this the other week. So she got a man, and his ass took to social media. It always go, it always go down on social media. <laughs> his ass took to social media. Hit, show the picture. Hey, whoa. No, watch me. Whoa. Crank that soldier boy. No, watch me. Oh, Chris Brown. And it, show, look. Show the damn. You're going to show the, the damn. The, to a girl and a boy together. And then have have you walking off like you were straight cuckoo. Come on, Chris. That's a, If that ain't some stalker shit right there. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That is stalkish down, baby. Chris Brown, you got to stop, man. You, you, it's, it's like you've been whooped. Like she put it on you so good, you just can't, you just can't let it go. Same thing with Brown. I know what Chris Brown needs. Uh-uh, uh-uh, bitch. Don't you say it. Uh-uh, bitch. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Did somebody say that in the little room? Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> that was Soldier Boy over there. So, uh, he going to keep on. He gonna keep on till he ain't gonna have no damn child. He gonna keep on. He gonna end up losing his damn child. That's what's gonna happen. All right, let's move on to the last one. This is gonna be uh, interesting. This is about mm -hmm, them Thompsons. Well, 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 well. As you know, you know the latest thing that everybody been talking about when it comes to Chloe and you know Tristan and and uh, the daddy Trevor. You know, it's been the talk of the Hollywood. It's been the talk of the town. You know, everybody calling him a hoe, including myself. Well, somebody stepped in and said it's all they fault. And he goes by the name of the baby, I mean the daddy. He goes by the name of Trevor, Trevor Thompson. He's saying that because he wasn't in his uh, round on his uh, formative years, he feels like that, uh, you know, his, he is the way he, the way he, he is the way he is. This could be true. But it come a time when you, uh, Mr. Thompson, when you have to grow up and be a man, you know, there's a lot of things that happened to me in my life that I had to let go. You can't just continue holding on to stuff. I didn't have my real father coming up. I had a stepfather, and we didn't have the best relationship at all at all times. We have a best good relationship now. What I'm gonna do? Hold on to something that happened in the past? No, you got to, you you got to move forward. You know, don't let that be an excuse of you just running around sleeping around. And that, sh that shouldn't have never happened. You had a baby coming. That's a serious problem. That's a serious problem. You you, you got to get some help. He's got to get some help for that. Well, the dad is running his mouth. I'm sure he's getting paid for it. He's going to be talking to OK Magazine. Kyle, you could at least did uh, old, old Magazine. <laughs> he, did the, he did the old with the K in it. Yeah, so he's going to be talking. He said, um, and he claims that if he had a contact with him, this one never happened. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down, Trevor Thompson. It, it might have, you don't know, it probably still going to happen. Once you, you're, if you're a hoe, you're just a hoe. Jesus could have came down. He probably still would have been messing around with them girls. Oh, we still try to get the, get the scoop child, trying to find out if there was a real little woman. Well, because it was more than one girl. They said there's some other girls getting ready to come forward. Mm-hmm. You think Chloe gonna hold on to him if two or three other more women come forward? I already told y'all. If it had been Keisha, Kanaya, <laughs> or Kanane, or Shanane, or Shirley, uh-huh, mm-mm, Pat, oh no, ma'am. They want to go have that new man, Peggy, uh-uh, Barbara, hell no. They want to have that. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see if anybody else come forward. I just, uh, I feel, I feel so sorry for the child. 
And then somebody said, you think, I, they think that Chris put all this together. Chris Jenner, but she probably did. She's another whoremonger who wants to see stuff. And look, I can't be mad at her for making her money, but don't export your children and your grandchildren and, and your family for money. Don't do that. But people do it. Hell, they kill your, they'll kill their own family for money. The song say, for the love of money, some people will rob, some people will kill, kill their own brother for the love of money. You know, at the end of the day, hell, that's what it's all about anyway. Coins, coins, coins. If you don't have coins, you don't have shit, bottom line. Simple as that. You know, well, that can't get you into heaven. No, it can't get you into heaven, but it can sure get you a nice house and a, <laughs> and a nice car. And no, you can't take it with you, but as long as you have it and you know that this is just, you know, well, you know, worldly things, you don't, you don't get caught up in that. You know, you thank God for what you got and be prepared to move on to the next life. If you believe that. Uh, anyway, it's our PT guys. Thanks for tuning in to PT Showbiz Top 5 today. Of course, it's Tuesday. I apologize yesterday that the show got out so late. But I hope you guys enjoyed the, enjoyed the show today. Hopefully, you guys are, are subscribing. And you're just not there looking. And you are commenting. And you're sharing my videos. And you're liking. And you're just enjoying PT Showbiz Top 5. We're counting down to 10,000. Thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate everything. And if you would like to send me an email, my email address is comedianpt at yahoo.com or you can email me at ptshowbiz at gmail.com and of course my Twitter is ptshowbiz top five and of course my Instagram is ptshowbiz and of course you can find me on uh, let's see what else my uh, we'll just do Instagram and Instagram and Twitter and Periscope is PT Showbiz. All right, top five. All right, guys, I'm PT. Thanks again so much for your support. And there is a PayPal button below. If you have not supported my show, uh, when I hit the 9,000 subscriber show, please feel free to hit that subscriber button and hit the PayPal button. If you don't see it, email me at PT Showbiz Top 5 and I'll link it to you. All right, because, oh, I'm going to show you guys. This is next on my bucket list. See this? That's next on my bucket list. I told y'all about ten thousand subscribers. I'm, I'm changing things up, and I gotta, I gotta. Thank God, my my best friend in Dallas, he's actually giving me a computer. It's gonna be a desktop, and I need that for my show. And I'll have a laptop, so when I go live, I can sit and talk to you guys, and be, you know, don't even have to test the live. You know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be so much fun. So anyway, you guys take care. I love you guys. And I love you, and I love you, and I love you. And I thank you for your support. By Ona, by St Stephanie, by Loretta. If you're still watching, I love you, baby. Um, by um, uh, 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 Sassy, by uh, Nawi, by everybody. Gregory, everybody. I don't want to miss nobody. Somebody get mad. He didn't say my name, but he I love say all right. y'all. Like y'all, my family. Continue praying for me, okay? I love you guys. You guys take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>